The Senate on Tuesday urged President Bola Tinubu to prioritize security, agriculture, infrastructure, and other critical sectors in the supplementary appropriation bill of 2.17 trillion naira proposed for passage by it. The bill was presented for first and second reading just immediately was unanimously adopted and passed by members of the Red Chamber as they all took turns to share their concerns on the judicial's utilization of the supplementary appropriation bill as a way to alleviate the hardship being faced by Nigerians. The bill, which is titled Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2023, SB 218, was presented by the Senate Majority Leader Bamidele Okwayemi, APC Ekiti Central. The Deputy Senate President, Senator Jubril Barao, tax the federal government to ensure critical sectors like security sector are considered in the budget. The issue from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation, the total sum of two trillion one hundred and seventy six billion seven hundred and ninety one million and eighty six thousand and 33 naira only, of which 18 billion naira only is for statutory transfers, 992 billion, 802 million, 15,985 naira only is for recurrent non-debt expenditure. But this government decided to take its time to study each challenges and areas that need funding. It took time. And so it decided that the challenges we face in the area of insecurity, areas of security, sorry, agriculture, uh, sorry, agriculture and our infrastructure should be dealt with. Then it decided that this bill should be brought forward for approval. The Senate Whip, Senator Aline Dume, commended the federal government and urged them to pass the bill so as to cover the gap that is already created. I highlight and support the second reading of this bill. A bill was brought today. The, the first question is, is it necessary and urgent? And the answer is yes. The second question is looking at the summary, and if our colleagues have a copy, should also look at the summary. This is the first time the capital expenditure of every budget in the critical sectors is more than the usual 40 or less than 40 percent that we have. Mr. President, I Firstly, I want to associate myself with the view that this budget uh, be passed, be supported, and that these uh, estimates be read for a second time. Uh, the first reason I have for supporting this is that from the briefings we have received so far, uh, this budget unlike a uh, few others we have dealt with in these chambers, will not be funded from ways and means. From the information at our disposal, it appears there is funding for this budget. And this budget will be funded adequately from what we have been told. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.